Nutting Gymnasium inside Hummel Fieldhouse is the site of this afternoon's non-conference matchup between the visiting Pitt Greensburg Bobcats and your Bethany Bison. Hello and an early happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Drew Monsayo here today for the call of the action on the Bethany Broadcasting Network streamed live on YouTube. Both teams are looking for their first win of the 2021-2022 season with younger squads in their respective conferences. For Pitt Greensburg, they've come up just short in a pair of games so far this season. The Bobcats dropped their season opener at home against Carlo by just two points, and then the opener of the Juniata tournament against the host Eagles also by two points. Leading the way for Pitt Greensburg today is the six foot senior guard from Akron, Ohio, Jojo France. France has averaged 16.2 points per game so far for the Bobcats. Matt Johnson was named to the all-tournament team at Juniata this past weekend, so he will also be a player to keep an eye on today for the Bison. Speaking of the Bison, it is their home opener as their first three games this season have been on the road. Coach Worrell's squad is looking to take advantage of being on their home court for the first time this afternoon. Of course, Coach Worrell not in attendance today, so things will be turned over to his associate head coach and son, Lucas Worrell. However, the Bison are led by the 6'1 senior guard from Portsmouth, Virginia, DJ White Jr., who has averaged 31.3 minutes per game in each of the first three, and he also leads the Bison with 42 points. White, of course, also has 22 rebounds so far this season, first on his team, including 20 defensively. Asa Klimchok is right behind DJ White with 37 points in the opening slate of games for the Bison. Pitt Greensburg is in their traditional blue road uniforms with the gold trim on their shorts, jerseys, and the numbers, while the Bison are in their traditional home whites with green lettering and numbers. Our officiating crew today, referee Kyle Stewart, umpire one Keith Moyer, and the umpire two Mark Schmidt. Both teams have now made their way to their sidelines. We talked about head coach Mike Worrell not being in attendance today. As a result of that, the women's head coach Brian Sansom will be taking over assistant coach duties in his absence to maintain three coaches on the Bison bench. We're gonna keep you right here live for the playing of the national anthem and the official introduction of today's starting lineups.
there you have it, the official introduction of the starting lineups. We will run through those quickly here for you once again for Pitt Greensburg, Reggie Pryor, Jojo France, Micah Jones, Lucas Swartz, and Matt Johnson. For the Bison, Brendan Riggs, Asa Klimchok, DJ White Jr., Trent Uphold, Travis Zimmerman. Bison will be set to move from left to right. Pitt Greensburg in reverse from right to left. Pryor and Zimmerman will be responsible for the tip this afternoon to open this one up. We're underway inside Hummel Fieldhouse as Pitt Greensburg will control the opening possession. Micah Jones dropping it back to Matt Johnson. He'll set up shot for the Bobcats. He'll feed it to Jojo France on the left wing, driving into the paint, layup for Jones, tipped away by the Bison, rebounded by DJ White Jr. He'll quickly find Travis Zimmerman driving into the paint, layup for Zimmerman, off the backboard and in, and the Bison strike first. Pitt Greensburg quickly going the other way, Jojo France on the right wing. He'll go back to Matt Johnson, feed it to Priya at the point. Now Jones on the left wing, going right back to Johnson, his three point attempt. That'll go in and out, controlled by Trent Uphold. And now DJ White Jr. will operate the Bison offense with 19-14 to go in the opening half. As Riggs will find Klimchok driving inside. Klimchok will kick it back out to White. Pick there from Zimmerman. Cross court pass to Uphold. Now Klimchok on the right wing. Three pointer from Klimchok, that one well short. Zimmerman able to save and will just throw it into the Pitt Greensburg bench. A minute and seven seconds into the first half as Priya will inbound now to Matt Johnson. Brings the ball over half court, finds the hands of Jojo France, his three point attempt, that one ricocheting off the rim, rebounded by Micah Jones, plays it back to Reggie Priya at the point. He'll drive inside to the paint, layup there off the backboard and in. Pitt Greensburg tying this one up at two apiece. 90 seconds into the first half. DJ White, you can see him calling out plays on the far side. Klimchok driving inside. He'll kick it out to Uphold. Go to White on the left wing. Now White driving inside, fumbling possession. One cleanly back by the Bobcats. As France will operate now driving inside. Layup there for Jojo France. Roll around the rim and in. Pitt Greensburg scoring a pair of field goals on their last two possessions. White Jr. operating from the near side. Spinning, finding Klimchok on the right wing. Klimchok gonna slow things down. Now we'll go to Riggs near the baseline. That'll ricochet off the hands of Micah Jones as Riggs was trying to feed it into Uphold. The Bison will be set to inbound from the baseline. Riggs will find Zimmerman. Finds Uphold on the left wing. Back for Riggs, three pointer for Riggs. That'll bounce off the backboard and in. Brendan Riggs getting the Bison back on top. 2.24 into the first half. Bison ahead, five to four. Johnson will lay off for Jojo France, now working his way around. He'll stop at the free throw line, kick it back out to Johnson. He'll feed it inside to Pryor. Pryor gonna drive into the paint, lay up there for Reggie Pryor, no good. Controlled by DJ White Jr. His strong defensive presence on rebounds shown right there. Now he's gonna drive inside, try to feed it to Zimmerman. He'll kick back out to Klimchok for three. Klimchok's three won't go. Controlled by Jojo France, quickly pushing the other way is France. Lay up there, and Jojo France will draw the foul. Gonna go against Brendan Riggs. That'll be his first of the half. And it'll send Jojo France to the free throw line. Of course, France 19 for 22 so far this season at the charity stripe. He will have his first shot bounce off the back of the rim and in to make it 20 for 23. Looking to complete the double here on his second attempt. As that one falls right down through the net, reestablishing a Bobcat lead six to five. Just three minutes into the first half, Bison quickly pushing the other way. Riggs operating from the near side, will feed it into Zimmerman. Zimmerman, scanning, surveying, looking for options. Pitch it back to DJ White. Now DJ White gonna slow things down, separate the Bison offense. He drives inside. Klimchok now gonna give it a go. Klimchok driving in for the layup. That one controlled cleanly on the rebound by Pryor. As France from the near side left wing, 
going to hit a three-point jumper. That one will roll around the rim and in. And Pitt Greensburg extends their lead to four. DJ White on the near side. Pick from Zimmerman, jumper from White just outside the free throw line, controlled by Zimmerman. The putback off the backboard and in. Travis Zimmerman getting his first two points of the afternoon. Johnson operating now from the near side. We'll feed it to Praya. Going far side to Micah Jones. Swartz gonna hit a jumper just inside the free throw line. Rebounded by Swartz himself and the put back up and good. Maintains a four point advantage for the Bobcats. 4-13 into the opening half. Give and go between White and Klimchok going right back in. Layup from Asa Klimchok off the backboard and in. The Bison not going down quietly as Jojo France on the far side. He'll hit a jumper just inside the free throw line. Three point line I should say, controlled cleanly by DJ White who will bring the ball over. White gonna drive inside into the paint, kick it out to Uphold who lays off for Klimchok on the right wing. He'll go to Zimmerman in the near corner. Zimmerman gonna slow things down, go right back to Asa Klimchok. Klimchok feeding it to White, far side, eight on the shot clock. White gonna drive into the paint, lay out there for DJ White, off the backboard and in. Bison have tied it up, 11 apiece, five minutes in. Pair of substitutes set to enter for the Bobcats, one for the Bison. Once a stoppage in play is official, as France finds the hands of Swartz, now Praya at the point. Three point attempt for Swartz from the left wing. Won't go, controlled by Asa Klimchok. Klimchok really gonna slow it down. You can hear DJ White calling out the plays just beyond midcourt. He'll go right back to Klimchok. Third substitute set to enter for the Bobcats. Zimmerman from the point, feeding uphold left wing. Trent Uphold, gonna lay it off for Klimchok. Six on the shot clock, Klimchok driving into the paint. Lay up there for Klimchok. And Klimchok draws the foul and will go to the line for two. Asa Klimchok, six for 10 at the charity stripe so far. That foul going against Micah Jones. That'll be his first of the afternoon. The first free throw attempt for Klimchok right down the middle, gets the Bison the lead. Three substitutes set to enter for Pitt Greensburg. Jeremiah Crockett, Tommy Arbuckle, and Octavius Hardy. Nishawn Brown, the substitute, going to be entering for the Bison after this second free throw. In which Klimchok has ricochet off the rim, so just a one point advantage. As Jojo France operates from the right wing, he'll lay it off to Lucas Swartz feeding it to Tommy Arbuckle, his first touch of the basketball this afternoon. Low pass, trying to go back to Jojo France. Will allow the Bison to take over with possession of the basketball. And now we see Nashawn Brown enter in place of Asa Klimchok. Uphold will inbound to White, 14 to go in the first half. Bison ahead, 12 to 11. Both sides, of course, looking for win number one so far this season. Riggs operating from the near side. He'll feed it into Brown. Brown looking for room. Going to go the layup, reverse layup from Nashawn Brown. Talk about an impact off the bench right there. And Nashawn Brown extends the Bison lead to three. The pass from France will take a deflection off of DJ White trying to find Tommy Arbuckle. That'll ricochet into the Bison bench. Now Arbuckle will inbound to France, and Nashawn Brown immediately will foul him, his first foul of the afternoon. Arbuckle going cross court near side to Crockett. Crockett now gonna slow things down. He'll feed it into Jojo France, his three point attempt. Pitch perfect there from Jojo France. Levels it up 14 apiece. Jojo France leading the Bobcats with 16.2 points per game coming into today and now getting the Bobcats level in this one. Tommy Arbuckle drawing the foul there against DJ White as we see Tyler Block enter in place of Brendan Riggs. Nishawn Brown will inbound to DJ White. 
White calling out the play is going to go right back to Brown on the left wing far side. Brown going to Zimmerman. He's going to drive into the paint layup there for Travis Zimmerman. In and out. Controlled cleanly by Lucas Swartz. He'll bring the Bobcats over half court. JoJo France, three-point attempt from the right wing. Roll around the rim and in. Three-point advantage for the Bobcats. And now Coach Lucas Worrell going to call his first timeout of the half. It'll go down as a 30-second timeout for the Bison. Of course, we talked about Asa Klimchok already this afternoon, having his fair share of points. Of course, Klimchok responsible for three points so far. The head coach for the Pitt-Greensburg Bobcats in his first season, Chris Klimchok, the cousin of the Bison's guard. This game having some family ties to it. It'll make some interesting Thanksgiving dinner conversations based upon who comes out on top of this one. Of course, Klimchok, Coach Klimchok for that matter, responsible for guiding the St. Vincent Bobcats to a 2013 PAC championship title. This play has resumed here inside Nutting Gymnasium. DJ White manning the Bison offense. Working on the near side, he's going to drive into the paint. We'll go cross court to Block. Now Block driving into the paint, layup there for Block. Blocked by Hardy. Zimmerman with the putback won't go. Controlled by Octavius Hardy, and now Travis Zimmerman caught with the foul. That'll go down as the first one against Zimmerman this afternoon. See Matt Johnson back into the game along with Nick Kotecki. Kotecki, the senior guard and forward from Lower Borough, Pennsylvania, gets his first action here. Johnson will feed it to Arbuckle left wing, go inside to Kotecki. Three-point attempt there for France. That'll bounce off the near side rim, controlled by DJ White Jr. 12-15 to go, Bison trailing by three, 17-14. Three-point attempt for uphold from the point. That'll go in and out, controlled by the Bison. DJ White going to drive inside, feed it into Gavin Moore, who puts the layup. Gavin Moore getting his first two points of the afternoon. Bison trailing by just one now. Matt Johnson operating on the near side, calling out instructions. Going to go right back to Tommy Arbuckle, left wing, do a one-two with Kateki. Rather, Kateki keeps it himself. Now France on the far side, going to drive in. Jumper there from France, blocked by DJ White, but White going to be called with the foul, so JoJo France will go to the free throw line. First foul of the game against DJ White. France 21 for 24 so far this season at the free throw line, including two he's already made this afternoon as that one pitch perfect there from France. Asa Klimchok back into the game for DJ White. Julian McGee entering for Trent Uphold as we see Jeremiah Crockett out of the game as Micah Jones re-enters for the Bobcats. Second free throw attempt for JoJo France. That'll bounce around the rim and in. Bobcats reestablish a three point lead. 11.35 to go in the first half. Klimchok showing off some strong footwork. He calls for Tyler Block to come to him on the far side. Going to Gavin Moore at the point. McGee right wing. McGee going to go to Klimchok far side. Nine on the shot clock. Klimchok looking for an option. Klimchok going to drive into the paint. Then hit a jumper just beyond the free throw line. Won't go. Controlled by Octavius Hardy. Rather that's Matt Johnson now on the far wing. Johnson trying to drive inside, won't go. Three-pointer from Arbuckle, just a bit too much on it. Controlled cleanly by Gavin Moore. Klimchok cross-court pass to Nashawn Brown. Nashawn Brown gonna slow things down, go right back to Klimchok on the near side. Pick there from Gavin Moore, gonna go to Tyler Block cross-court, who's driving inside. He'll go right back to McGee in the near corner. McGee going cross-court to Nashawn Brown, and Nashawn Brown will be ruled out of bounds. Lucas Swartz re-entering the game in place of Jojo France. He will get his first breather of the opening half. 
with 10.39 to go. It was Nick Kotecki who inbounded to Matt Johnson. Going to Micah Jones on the left wing near side. Arbuckle at the point. Now Swartz left wing going right back to Johnson. Defending strong there from Nishan Brown. Johnson gonna drive inside into the paint layup there from Johnson. That'll bounce off the rim and drop straight through the net. Five point advantage for the Bobcats. Klimchuk will run the offense near side, go cross court the block. His three point attempt from the left corner won't go, controlled by McGee. Tipped away from his hands, gathered cleanly by Micah Jones with 9.56 to go in the first half. Matt Johnson, the senior guard from Prince George's County, Maryland, in charge of running the Bobcat offense. Arbuckle gonna hit a, try to hit a jumper from inside the paint where he's called with the travel. Excellent defense there from Tyler Block. So we see uphold back in for Gavin Moore. Reggie Pryor back onto the court as Nick Kotecki gives way. Still a five point advantage for the Bobcats over the Bison. The Bobcats zero and five to start the year. The Bison zero and three. Both teams looking for win number one. Uphold hitting a jumper from two. That one over hit, controlled by Matt Johnson. And now Tyler Block called with the foul as Johnson came down with the basketball. Just some slight contact there from Tyler Block, enough to be called a push. 9.25 to go, 21-16 Bobcat lead. Lucas Swartz driving into the paint. Jumper there from Swartz, that'll ricochet off the rim and drop down as Pitt Greensburg extends their lead to seven. Three substitutes set to enter for the Bison. DJ White, Brendan Riggs, and Travis Zimmerman. Klimchok gonna drive inside, now hit, step back. But Klimchok gonna draw the foul. And now we see Jojo France also entering the game for Pitt Greensburg. Exactly nine minutes to go in the first half with the Bobcats ahead by seven, 23-16. You're watching non-conference basketball live on the Bethany Broadcasting Network on YouTube. Lucas Swartz operating from the right wing, going inside to Jones, right back to Swartz, hits a three-pointer. 10-point advantage now for the Pitt Greensburg Bobcats. DJ White on the near side, gonna drive inside, feed it to Zimmerman. Play blown dead. Octavius Hardy, rather that's Micah Jones, getting caught with the foul. Octavius Hardy sitting on the bench, not even on the court at the moment, Riggs will inbound to Zimmerman, feed it to Nishan Brown, DJ White on the far side, going right back to Riggs at the point, he'll feed inside to Zimmerman. Zimmerman the layup, that'll bounce off the backboard, retrieved cleanly by Reggie Pryor. And now the Bobcats, led by Matt Johnson, driving inside. Now he's gonna slow things down, go right back to Micah Jones at the point. He'll lay off to Lucas Swartz, who takes his position at the point. Feed inside to Pryor, Zimmerman gonna go over the back of Reggie Praya trying to block that one. It'll be the second foul against Travis Zimmerman. Reggie Praya will go to the free throw line, but not before Trent Uphold re-enters in place of Travis Zimmerman. Reggie Praya, 11 for 17 at the charity stripe looking to extend the Bobcat advantage to a possible 12 if both free throws are sunk. That one controlled by Nishan Brown as Praya only getting one free throw. Is my correction as Klimchok lays it off for DJ White. Going right back to uphold. Three point attempt for Riggs. That'll go in and out controlled by Matt Johnson. Now Matt Johnson getting instructions to slow things down. He'll find Swartz on the far side. 
go right back into Micah Jones. JoJo France right wing, driving inside on Nishawn Brown, running out of options, underhand feed to Micah Jones who hits the layup. And now head coach Lucas Whirl this afternoon gonna call another timeout. Be the second one of the half called against the Bison. Of course the Bison trailing by 12 at the moment. The Bison had a strong start to this one staying right in it with the Bobcats. However, some recent turnovers and a lack of execution ultimately making the difference as the Bobcats are 10 for 19 in terms of field goals so far this afternoon. The Bison just seven for 20. As Pitt Greensburg also four of nine from distance compared to just one of six for the Bison. Uphold will inbound to Klimchok. Operating on the far side. Strong defense there from Micah Jones. He'll feed it to Riggs on the left wing. Riggs will go inside to Uphold. He's gonna lay it off for Klimchok. 7.05 to go in the first half. Klimchok going right back to DJ White on the left wing. Shot clock in single digits. Three point attempt there for White. Won't go controlled cleanly by Micah Jones and now Matt Johnson gonna push the other way hit it three-pointer is Jones rather Johnson and that one up and good 15 point advantage for the Bobcats as Matt Johnson did it all himself in that possession DJ White gonna drive inside he'll find Nishan Brown who hits a jumper just beyond the free throw line controlled cleanly by Jones hands it off right to Matt Johnson Johnson operating near side from the left wing. Barking out instructions to his teammates. Gonna go to Lucas Swartz left wing. Swartz feeding it inside to Pryor. Pryor gonna drive into the paint, go cross court to Johnson. That one tipped away by Nashawn Brown, controlled cleanly by DJ White. Gonna drive into the paint himself. White shot. That'll bounce off the backboard, controlled by Micah Jones with six minutes to go in the opening half. Lucas Swartz near side left wing. He'll feed into Pryor. Pryor going cross court to France. Johnson right wing. Bobcats working it around cleanly. And now DJ White ultimately drawing the foul as Lucas Swartz was trying to drive into the paint. Actually gonna rule that one against Trent Uphold. First foul of the game against Uphold. Swartz, the sophomore guard from Mogador, Ohio, hits his first free, free throw. As we see Octavius Hardy back in for Reggie Praia. Gavin Moore back in for Nishan Brown. As Swartz looks to complete the double, and he does so successfully, makes it a 17 point advantage for Pitt Greensburg. Klimchok set up shop on the near side. A pick from Moore. Klimchok gonna go right back to Moore near side, hit a three point attempt. That one rolls around the rim, rebounded by Swartz, who will feed it to Matt Johnson. Johnson slowing things down with 5.23 to go in the first half. His side up by 17. France from the left wing, he'll feed inside to Hardy. Hardy's jumper blocked cleanly by Gavin Moore. And now the Bison will push the opposite direction. Klimchok on the right wing. He'll go right back to DJ White at the point. He'll kick out to uphold three-pointer from the far corner. Off the far rim, rebounded by Swartz. He'll go cross court quickly to Micah Jones. Lay up there for Micah Jones. That'll roll around the rim and drop in as the Bobcats further extend their advantage. DJ White operating from the left wing. He'll go cross court near side to Klimchok. Klimchok gonna now hit a jumper just inside the three point line. That'll bounce off the near rim, controlled cleanly again by Lucas Swartz. Who will lay it off to Matt Johnson. Goes right back to Swartz. Right wing, cross court near side to Jones. 
Johnson three point attempt from the left corner. That one right down the middle. As the Bobcats continue to pour it on here in the opening half. Klimchuk, left wing far side going to Riggs. He'll hit a three pointer. That one high in the air, but right down the middle for Riggs. Cutting the deficit down to 19 for the Bison. Matt Johnson showing off some brilliant footwork. Have his jumper go in and out, controlled by Klimchok with 3.48 to go. Klimchok faking a pass inside the uphold. He'll go to Riggs near side. Lays off for DJ White, going right back to Riggs in the near corner, uphold jumper. That'll go in and out, controlled cleanly by Gavin Moore, his putback attempt. Octavius Hardy going up in the air to claim that one. Jojo France, far side driving into the paint. He'll kick it back out to Matt Johnson, who hits a three-point attempt. That one well short. It'll bounce off the rim, controlled cleanly by Trent Uphold with 3.15 to go. Bobcats ahead, 38-19. White will kick out the Klimchok. Three-point attempt from the left wing. Rolls around, won't go. Brought down by Micah Jones, who's instructed by his coaching staff to slow things down as the tempo is really accelerating. Near side, three-point attempt for Jojo France. That one over hit. Saved by Micah Jones. Matt Johnson will set up shop as the shot clock just now heads into single digits. Going inside, that'll take a deflection off of uphold as JoJo France gonna need to just put it up. He does. That three-point attempt will roll around the rim. Saved by Klimchok, stripped away from him by Jones, but right back into the hands of Gavin Moore. Riggs operating on the near side. Two and a half to go. Gavin Moore driving into the paint. He'll kick out to Uphold. Uphold lays off for Klimchok at the point. Gavin Moore, three-point attempt from the left wing. That'll roll around. Brought down by Jojo France. Matt Johnson going to spin away. And now Coach Klimchok of the Pitt Greensburg Bobcats going to call a full timeout with 2.12 to go. Get some subs on before the end of the half. And that'll give the Bison an opportunity to head back to the drawing board, down 19. Brendan Riggs leading the Bison so far this afternoon with six points compared to JoJo France of the Bobcats with a 15. I talked in the pregame about how JoJo France was gonna be the player to watch along with Matt Johnson here this afternoon and between the two, they've combined for 23 of 38 Pitt Greensburg points in the first half with 2.12 to go. Another connection between the Pitt Greensburg Bobcats and the Bethany Bison, Bison assistant coach Brandon Thorson playing for head coach Chris Klimchok of the Bobcats when both of them were at Penn State Barron as they help to guide the Lions to three consecutive AMCC tournament championship appearances along with the 2019 title. This is Chris Klimchok very familiar with the AMCC conference. Now in Pitt Greensburg, Matt Johnson gonna drive inside and called with the travel. So the Bison will get possession once more Just over two minutes to go in the first half. White will feed at the block on the near side. Gavin Moore going back up top to Riggs. Riggs will feed inside to Julian McGee who checked into the game in that last timeout. Underhand layup there for McGee. The put back for Moore. And play blown dead as Nick Kotecki caught with the foul. That'll send Gavin Moore to the charity stripe. Gavin Moore so far this season 0 for 2 on free throws. Has that one bounce off the back, will go 0 for 3 as Tommy Arbuckle enters for Jeremiah Crockett. Second three point, rather free throw from Moore, that'll roll around and fall out as the Bison come up empty, Matt Johnson Works for the Bobcats going to France. France will lay off for Kateki. Feed inside the Jones. 
loses control, go right back to Johnson, far side corner. Arbuckle going to France near side. Nine on the shot clock, three point attempt there for Jojo France, that'll roll around the rim, controlled by White. White gonna feed inside to Moore. Moore going right back to DJ White. Tyler Block, three point attempt from the left wing. Overshot that time, controlled by Arbuckle. Two on one the opposite way, as Arbuckle it's looking in the wrong direction, trying to find Matt Johnson. We'll throw that one directly into the Bison bench with 70 seconds to go in the opening half. 38-19, Bobcat lead. DJ White feeding the Tyler Block near side wing. Block gonna drive inside, have that one stripped away from him by Matt Johnson, but not before a foul called. That one going against Micah Jones. Second foul of the afternoon against Jones. His uphold re-enters the game in place of Julian McGee. So with 58 and 6 tenths of a second, the Bison will be inbounding from the baseline in their attacking half of the court. White will just throw that one up, controlled cleanly by Uphold. Finding block far side, directly in front of the Bobcat bench. He'll hit a jumper. That one won't go, controlled cleanly by Tommy Arbuckle, who gives way to Matt Johnson. Johnson just bringing the ball over half court. We'll find the hands of Jojo France. Kateki lays off to Matt Johnson, far side left wing. 10 on the shot clock. Arbuckle gonna kick out to Kateki, hit a three point attempt. That'll go in and out, controlled cleanly by Brendan Riggs. Shot clock will be off with 22 seconds to go in the first half. DJ White commanding instructions to his teammates. Single digits left on the clock in terms of seconds. Uphold three point attempt from the left wing. Pitch perfect there for Trent Uphold. And that's how the half will end as Matt Johnson airs out a Hail Mary that'll ricochet off the backboard. 38-22, Pitt Greensburg leading over Bethany at the intermission. We'll step aside for 15 minutes and be back with coverage of the second half live on the Bethany Broadcasting Network streaming on YouTube.
back for coverage of the second half of this non-conference basketball matchup between the visiting Pitt Greensburg Bobcats and your Bethany Bison. And take a look now at some of the stats halfway through this contest. Of course, the Bobcats ahead on the scoreboard 38 to 22. In terms of field goals, Pitt Greensburg 13 of 30 compared to just nine of 35 for the Bison and three point attempts Pitt Greensburg six for 17 compared to just three of 14 for the Bison. As Bobcats are also six of seven from the charity stripe, the Bison just one for four. As it's been the Bison lack of execution that has ultimately made the difference in this contest. As the Bison have had their looks at the basket, they've had plenty of shots that have went up. It's just a matter of getting them to roll around and fall in. Both sides here this afternoon, very young. I talked about this in the pregame show. Pitt Greensburg, four seniors, three juniors, and then of course their strong sophomore class of six compared to the Bison, three seniors, four juniors, four sophomores, and four freshmen for Bethany. Of course, Pitt Greensburg having a trio of freshmen on their roster as well. But the Bobcats relying heavily on that strong sophomore class, a handful of which have made an impact today. We've seen Octavius Hardy in the game, Lucas Swartz, Jeremiah Crockett, Reggie Pryor, all of which have had some sort of impact this afternoon. Just about 30 seconds away from starting the second half where the Bison look to get off on a strong foot, work to cut this deficit down. Looking ahead for both of these sides, starting with Bethany, their upcoming games after today facing Franciscan in Steubenville, Ohio on December the 1st, and then hosting Grove City on Saturday, December 4th. As for Pitt Greensburg after today, they will travel to Malone University on Saturday, two days after Thanksgiving, and then host Hilbert College in the AMCC opener. Underway here in the second half, Asa Klimchak will feed it to DJ White on the far side. White gonna drive into the paint, feed it into Zimmerman, layup attempt there for Travis Zimmerman, and that's how the Bison get started. 13 seconds into the second half. Matt Johnson gonna find Jojo France who lays off for Micah Jones. Jones gonna hit a free throw line jumper. That'll ricochet off the rim. White feeding quickly ahead to Zimmerman. Zimmerman puts the layup, and just like that, Two scores, two possessions for the Bison. Cutting the deficit down to 12. Matt Johnson feeding inside to Reggie Pryor. Pryor gonna drive inside, strong defense there from Zimmerman and White. Cross court pass to Swartz, who hits a three point attempt. And that one, pitch perfect there from Lucas Swartz. White will find Brendan Riggs on the near side. Riggs trying to dance away from Swartz, who has it stolen. And now Brit, Brendan Riggs rather drawing the foul. And Riggs also getting caught with the technical. That'll be a double whammy there for Brendan Riggs. And now we see the teams pulling Swartz and Riggs away from each other. And now our officiating crew getting together to sort this one out. As we hear now from our officiating crew that Swartz ultimately being caught with a foul as well. Of course, Riggs still getting the double whammy of the technical and the original foul. As 
we now have members of our officiating crew talking to both coaching staffs. See Mark Schmidt down talking to Pitt Greensburg. And it was our main referee, Kyle Stewart, who was talking to Coach Thorson for Bethany. And we're back underway. And play blown dead as the clock had not started. Five seconds taken off to adjust for what had happened. Now Micah Jones gonna inbound to Matt Johnson. Jojo France operating near side, feeding into Priya. Priya going right back to Jojo France at the point. Now France gonna try to drive inside. He'll kick back out to Jones. Now Jones gonna have a go. And Travis Zimmerman caught with the foul. That'll be the third one against Zimmerman this afternoon. Johnson will be set to inbound on the baseline. He'll get it into Priya near side corner. Priya driving in to the perimeter. Three point attempt from deep from Swartz. That'll bounce off the rim, controlled cleanly by Nashawn Brown. Nashawn Brown brings the ball over half court, lays it off to Klimchuk. 18.23 to go, 41.26 Bobcat lead. White will kick out to Zimmerman who hits a free throw line jumper. That one won't go, controlled by Riggs. Riggs going into Zimmerman as Micah Jones will touch that out of bounds. So possession will stay with the Bison. It'll be Riggs set to inbound. Does so successfully finding Zimmerman DJ White working far side corner. Riggs three point attempt from the point. That'll bounce off the front rim. Controlled cleanly by Reggie Pryor. It's Matt Johnson works the offense now for the Bobcats. Going to Micah Jones. Lucas Swartz left wing near side. Rather far side. Three point attempt from Matt Johnson. That'll roll around the rim and drop down. As the Bobcats reestablish an 18 point advantage. White finding Riggs far side. Riggs going right back to DJ White. Now White gonna go to Nishon Brown far wing. Nishon Brown driving into the paint. He'll hit a free throw line jumper. That'll fall right down for Nishon Brown. Getting two points back on the board for the Bison. Matt Johnson tries to find Priya Zimmerman right there, but it gets to him. Three point attempt for Johnson. Won't go, controlled by Nishan Brown. Nishan Brown driving into the paint, looking to go coast to coast, and he does successfully. Nishan Brown, underhand, overhand, sinks the layup. And now Micah Jones is gonna drive into the paint, hit a free throw line jumper. That one off the front of the rim, controlled by Riggs. White pushing forward to Zimmerman. Layup there for Travis Zimmerman, good. And now Pitt Greensburg gonna be calling a timeout to slow down the Bison. It'll be a 30 second timeout for head coach Chris Klimchok. Trying to sort things out as the Bison in the first three minutes and 22 seconds have went on a 10-6 rally. Of course, we talked about both sides. Wanting this one desperately, looking for win number one. The Bison heading into conference play after this contest. The Bobcats one more game before they start conference play. And both of these teams ultimately wanting some momentum as the games start to take more of a significance. Matt Johnson feeds Lucas Swartz far side, going inside to Octavius Hardy, back to Matt Johnson far side. Johnson gonna kick out to Jojo France near side. France spin move around Klimchok, tries to go back to Johnson, but not before play blown dead. DJ White caught with the holding. 
Just the second foul going against DJ White this afternoon as Johnson will inbound to Octavius Hardy, spin move around, and now White caught with the foul once again. This time it'll send Hardy to the free throw line. Octavius Hardy, 0 for 2 so far this season at the charity stripe. Looks to make his first one of the season this afternoon. Has that one hit off the front of the rim. We heard Bison Bench echoing to DJ White Jr. to be smart as that one won't go for Hardy. Controlled by Trent Uphold. Now White gonna push forward into the hands of Klimchok. Klimchok finding Uphold far side. White gonna drive into the paint, feed to Nishan Brown, who has that layup roll around and drop in for a pair of points. Fifteen fifty-one to go in the contest. Bison down by just ten. Jojo France gonna kick out the Swartz near side, feed into Octavius Hardy. Hardy trying to spin away from Uphold, will lay it off to Jones, has that one tipped away by Trent Uphold. DJ White quickly pushing the other way, trying to go coast to coast. White with the layup, that one will fall just outside, controlled by Jojo France. As White was applying some full court press, who goes back to Matt Johnson. Lucas Swartz now finding France on the near side, going to Matt Johnson down in the corner. Johnson driving inside, he'll hit the layup. That'll roll around the rim and drop in. As the Bison are not going down without a fight. Klimchok three from the far side. Pitch perfect for Asa Klimchok. Jojo France operating near side. Go right back to Matt Johnson into the hands of Jojo France. Hardy from the point. Pivoting, he'll go to Swartz who hits a long three and Swartz gets the three points right back. A sophomore from Mogador, Ohio making his presence known this afternoon. Klimchok gonna drive into the paint, he'll hit the layup, that'll roll around the rim and drop in. Bison right back to a 10 point deficit. Subs from both sides set to enter at the next stoppage. Matt Johnson will find Jojo France near side. France dancing, trying to get away from Klimchok, who goes right back to Swartz, who hits another long three. That'll bounce off the front of the rim, controlled by Nishan Brown with 14 minutes to go in the game. Nishan Brown driving inside. He'll find DJ White, Jr. far side. White showing off some skills. He'll go back out to Brown at the point. Nishan Brown trying to drive in, has that one stolen away from him by Hardy, who goes the opposite way. Octavius Hardy hits the easy layup. Back to a 12 point advantage for the Bobcats. As that was a costly turnover there for the Bison. And now the Bison gonna call a timeout. It'll be a full timeout for the Bison. Of course, Pitt Greensburg getting some points back as they've cut the second half score line down to just a four point deficit for them. Bison ahead in this half, 17-13, but it's ultimately the combined score that makes the difference with the Bobcats ahead, 51-39. DJ White was an honorable mention last week, the week of November 8th through the 14th for PAC Player of the Week, where he averaged 14 points, six and a half rebounds and five assists in the Lauren Hill tip-off tournament. Talked about in the pregame as well, Matt Johnson this past weekend named the all tournament team at Juniata. He led the Bobcats with 19 points Five rebounds, four steals, and two assists against W and J on Saturday. However, his selection to that all tournament team was based on his performance in both games. The Pitt Greensburg Bobcats very familiar with the W and J presidents as they face them now twice in two different non-conference tournaments. 
Tyler Block will inbound to Asa Klimchuk. Feed inside to Uphold. Uphold pivoting, looking for an option. He'll go right back to Block on the far side. Tyler Block will lay off for Nishan Brown. Nishan Brown will hit a free throw line jumper. That one won't go, controlled cleanly by Tyler Block. Shot clock will reset at 20. Riggs trying to go drive inside. Uphold gonna save. Klimchuk doing a bit too much. Will lose possession, and now Klimchuk drawing the foul. Be the second foul of the afternoon against Asa Klimchuk as we see Gavin Moore and Travis Zimmerman re-enter. Nishan Brown, Trent Uphold giving way for acting head coach Lucas Whirl. Matt Johnson will find the hands of Lucas Swartz going right back to Jojo France. And now Jeremiah Crockett in the game for the Bobcats will touch the ball. Swartz going from one side, three point attempt from the near side for France. And Jojo France continues to make it rain as he adds three more to his tally. 15 point advantage for Pitt Greensburg as Klimchok drives inside the paint. Klimchok gonna be able to draw the foul. Gonna go against Jeremiah Crockett. First foul of the afternoon against Crockett. As Klimchok looks to cut the deficit down for Bethany. Drills the first free throw. So we see Tommy Arbuckle back in for Lucas Swartz. Klimchok looking to go two for two and he does so successfully as that one fell perfectly into the net. Matt Johnson will lay off for Tommy Arbuckle. Find the hands of Jeremiah Crockett. Johnson, far side, left wing. Gonna drive into the paint. He'll hit the layup. That'll roll around the backboard and rim and drop down. Gavin Moore will inbound to Tyler Block. Block gonna go to Klimchok near side. Pick there from Moore, Klimchok spinning away, finding Gavin Moore, he'll hit the layup, that one off the rim, controlled by Arbuckle, finding the hands of Crockett quickly, pushing forward to Jojo France, who's gonna drive inside, try to spin away from Zimmerman, feed back to Arbuckle, somehow maintains possession on the baseline, he'll kick it back out to Nick Kateki, hits a long three, that one no good, and as Tyler Block tried to rebound Jeremiah Crockett, called with the foul going over the top. DJ White, Trent Uphold, back in for Gavin Moore, Brendan Riggs. Eleven thirty-six to go, Bison trailing by 15, 56-41. DJ White spinning away from Johnson layup there from Block. That one will fall down right through the net. Bison tacking on two more to the scoreboard. Matt Johnson finding the hands of Jojo France into Nick Kateki. Back to Matt Johnson. Jojo France three point attempt from the near side. That one in and out, but Asa Klimchok fouling France in the process of the shot. Third foul of the afternoon against Klimchok, which will send Jojo France to the free throw line. Of course, France already four for four today on free throws. Make it five for five for 10 in blue. France, the senior from Akron, Ohio. 19 points this afternoon. And now makes it 20. As with the Bobcats entering the bonus, they'll get to shoot three free throws. So potential 21 points on the afternoon for Jojo France, which does in fact fall. 
Reggie Pryor sitting down in front of the score table, set to re-enter. White lays it off to Klimchok. Klimchok trying to gain separation from Micah Jones. Klimchok spinning away from Jones. He'll hit the layup and Asa Klimchok getting the crowd rowdy here inside Hummel Fieldhouse. Matt Donson slowing things down now for Pitt Greensburg. He'll hit a three point from distance. That'll roll in and out, controlled by Trent Uphold. Nishan Brown set to check back in for the Bison. White will pitch it back to Uphold. Klimchok near side, left wing. He'll feed inside Zimmerman. Zimmerman trying to spin away from Johnson. Has that layup deflected off of Jones, but it'll fall down. 10 14 to go. Bison trailing by 12, 59-47. You see it right there on your screen. Some confusion is Pitt Greensburg calling a 30-second timeout, but DJ White trying to make his case that he had possession or touched the ball last, rather, when that timeout was called. Lucas Whirl serving as the acting head coach today for the Bison, previously serving as the graduate assistant for the Ashland University men's basketball team. Helped the Eagles claim its first ever Great Lakes Intercollegiate Athletic Conference Tournament Championship and a graduate of Illinois College where he ultimately got his coaching career started as an assistant. Asa Klimchok, Travis Zimmerman leading the Bison with 12 points each here this afternoon, as for the Bobcats, JoJo France leading the way with 21, Lucas Swartz, Matt Johnson, 15 each. As we see JoJo France inbound to Micah Jones, go right back to France. France will hit the layup, driving into the paint, and JoJo France continues to have himself a day, tacking on points 22 and 23. White will give way to Asa Klimchok on the far side. Klimchok gonna drive into the paint. He'll hit the jumper. Klimchok will score the field goal and head to the line for the and one. That foul going up, ag going against Jojo France, just his first of the afternoon. Asa Klimchok looks to complete the three point play has that one fall short. Micah Jones first to the rebound off the rim. Pitches it to Matt Johnson, setting up shop on the far side. Feed it to Tommy Arbuckle. Arbuckle gonna lay it off to Jojo France on the near side, go back to Jones at the point. Far side three pointer attempt for Matt Johnson. That'll go in and out, tipped up by Nishan Brown. Controlled cleanly by DJ White. Who gives right back to Nishan Brown, near side layup there for Nishan Brown, blocked by Micah Jones. Fight for possession, controlled by Matt Johnson. Quick feed into Jojo France. His layup, good. 14 point advantage for the Bobcats, 63-49 with 9.05 to play. As DJ White will bring the ball over half court. White gaining separation from Jones, feeding to Klimchok. Pick there from Zimmerman. Klimchok will kick out to Nishan Brown, but the pass just out of his reach. As Lucas Swartz, enters in place of Matt Johnson. Reggie Pryor will inbound to Jojo France. He will run the Bobcat offense. Now France gonna try to drive inside, but not before Nishan Brown called with the foul. Second foul of the afternoon against Nishan Brown. That'll send Jojo France to the free throw line. As the first free throw there from France is good on the one and one. Second attempt for France, right down the middle as Jojo France Pushes closer and closer to 30 points. Currently sitting at 27. DJ White 
with eight and a half to go. He'll drive into the paint, lay up there for DJ White, rolls around the rim and falls down, good. France driving inside on Klimchok. Stripped away from him by Travis Zimmerman, quickly going the other way. Travis Zimmerman driving into the paint with the layup. That one hits the rim and falls out, controlled by Lucas Swartz. Swartz feeding inside to Pryor. And Pryor hits the layup as DJ White was looking to avoid his fourth foul of the game. Ultimately playing it smart. Zimmerman sets the pick for White. Zimmerman will feed inside and Zimmerman draws the foul. Tommy Arbuckle, the guilty party, his second. As Travis Zimmerman continues to check his face for blood. Able to stay on the court, he will go to the free throw line. Of course, entering today, Travis Zimmerman, four for eight at the charity stripe. Will get his first two opportunities here of the afternoon with 7.55. As he sinks the first one cleanly. Octavius Hardy back in for Reggie Pryor, Brendan Riggs, Julian McGee entering for Asa Klimchok, Nishan Brown, Matt Johnson also back in in place of Tommy Arbuckle. Zimmerman looking to complete the pair of free throws, which he does successfully. 14 point deficit now for the Bison, 67-53. 7.50 to go in the contest. Matt Johnson finds the hands of Jojo France, feeding Lucas Swartz. Johnson on the near side. Johnson gonna drive into the paint, try to spin away from White into the hands of Octavius Hardy, who tries to spin away from Zimmerman. Hits the layup, but blocked by Zimmerman. And now DJ White forcing a jump ball. Possession arrow with Pitt Greensburg. So they will be set to inbound from the baseline. That responsibility falling into the hands of Lucas Swartz. Finding nobody, Julian McGee right there to intercept. McGee with the layup, blocked by Hardy. Uphold the putback. That'll fall cleanly. Heads up play there from Julian McKee. Even bigger from Trent Uphold to hit the put back layup. Hardy will lay off to Matt Johnson. Operating from the point, try to feed inside to Hardy once more. Two on one the opposite way. Zimmerman layup and he hits the dunk. Travis Zimmerman cuts the Bison deficit to 10. And now head coach Chris Klimchok gonna call another timeout. It'll be a full timeout as the Bobcats are out of 30 seconds. 7.03 to go, Bison trailing by 10. As the Bison have had their strong performance here in the second half. Already surpassing their total points in the first half, 35 through the first, 12.57 compared to 22 in the entire first 20 minutes. Jojo France having himself a day with 27 points, leading all scorers from either side. Travis Zimmerman, the closest one to him from both Bethany and Pitt Greensburg with 16. Bison make their way back out onto the court, looking to keep the momentum going. Pitt Greensburg trying to slow the bleeding as the Bison continue to cut into the deficit more and more, making this one a game into the final minutes. As Reggie Pryor will inbound to Matt Johnson. Johnson will pitch it off to Jojo France inside the Pryor. Strong defense from Travis Zimmerman as Pryor drives to the paint. Put up there, won't go, controlled by DJ White. 
DJ White pushing forward quickly, feeding it to Zimmerman. Zimmerman will hit the layup off the backboard and in. Eight point deficit now, 67-59 with six and a half to go. JoJo France driving into the paint. He'll kick it out to Matt Johnson. Micah Jones will drive inside. JoJo France able to clean it up. His three point attempt won't go. Pryor the rebound, put back, and Reggie Pryor scores the field goal and will head to the line. Julian McGee, the guilty party, as Nishawn Brown enters for Travis Zimmerman. Rather, Julian McGee, Travis Zimmerman, just heading down closer to his own bench to get some water. Free throw attempt for Priya. That one won't go with the one and one Bison able to gain possession. DJ White will call out the plays. 10 point advantage for Pitt Greensburg. Pick there from Zimmerman. White will hit the jumper just inside the free throw line. Three point line rather. Rebound controlled finally by Reggie Pryia. Matt Johnson gonna slow things down significantly. He'll find the hands of Lucas Schwartz, go right back up top to Micah Jones. JoJo France feeds it into Reggie Pryor. And Pryor have his jumper no good. Put back a 10 for Reggie Pryor. That'll fall down. And now Travis Zimmerman caught with the foul, trying to sell a charge against. Reggie Pryor. Nishawn Brown back in for Trent Uphold. As Brown will inbound now to Klimchok. Klimchok trying to gain separation from Jones. Just enough to hit a three. Asa Klimchok, that one bounces off the rim, controlled by JoJo France on the near side. JoJo France driving quickly into the paint, layup there for JoJo France. That'll bounce around the rim a pair of times and fall down. 29 points on the afternoon for JoJo France. And now Coach Lucas Worrell gonna call a full timeout. Fourteen point advantage for the Bobcats. Seventy three fifty nine. As they've been able to narrow the deficit here in terms of the line score of the second half, in terms of the last fourteen fifty eight, Bison ahead by just two as it was ultimately the first half that have continued to come back and haunt the Bison. Both teams now make their way back out onto the court. White will inbound to Klimchok with five minutes to go. Feed back into White. White driving into the paint. He'll hit the jumper. That one falls cleanly for DJ White. The inbound goes to JoJo France on the near side. France looking to make it into the 30 point club this afternoon. He'll feed it to Micah Jones, who's gonna drive inside, lay up there for Jones. Won't go, rebounded by Zimmerman, who lays off for DJ White. Experiences some pressure on the back from Jones. Riggs will hit the jumper from the near corner. That one falls cleanly for Brendan Riggs. Four and a half to go, nine point deficit for the Bison. It's not over till it's over here in Nutting Gymnasium. 
Jones will feed inside to Johnson. Nishan Brown playing aggressive defense. Johnson will hit a jumper. That one falls short. Nishan Brown will lay it off to DJ White. White will push forward, drive into the paint, feed into Brown. The jumper there from Nishan Brown. Up and good. Seven point deficit, four to go. As Matt Johnson finds the hands of JoJo France. Finding Micah Jones at the point. He'll go back to Lucas Swartz near side, defend, defending from Brendan Riggs. Deshaun Brown will tip that one away from Matt Johnson. Much to the pleasure of the Bison bench. Only frustration there from Deshaun Brown being that he couldn't keep it in play. With 3.43 to go. Swartz will inbound to Matt Johnson. Shot clock down to single digits. Johnson gonna drive inside. He'll hit a jumper, that one just short. The put back there for Matt Johnson. Off the backboard and in. Back to a nine point advantage for Pitt Greensburg. DJ White will lay it off for Klimchok. Klimchok, Klimchok, excuse me. Operating from the point, go inside to White. White will kick out to Riggs from the near side. Three point attempt for Riggs. That one will fall short, rebounded by Pryo with 3.08 to go. Matt Johnson running the Bobcat offense. Feed it to France near side. Into Praia. Almost has that one bobble away, but able to maintain possession. Now Praia gonna drive into the paint. He'll hit a jumper. Foul against Travis Zimmerman. But Praia will score the field goal. Fourth foul of the afternoon against Travis Zimmerman who leads the Bison with 18 points. As the Bobcats now entering the double bonus. Free throw good there for Reggie Pryor. Makes it 78-66 with 2.50 to go. DJ White gonna drive inside. He'll go all the way. Lay up there for DJ White. Off the backboard and in. Cutting it right back to 10. Jojo France working on the near side, trying to get away from White. Has that one stripped away from him by DJ White. And now Jojo France called with the foul. Second one of the afternoon against France for holding the wrist of DJ White. Riggs will inbound now to White. 2.28 to go, Bison trailing by 10. White gonna drive inside, kick out to Klimchok. Klimchok gonna have a go, spinning away from Jones, hits the layup, that one won't fall. Put back from Zimmerman off the backboard, won't go. Third attempt, fourth attempt stripped away from Zimmerman, cleanly rebounded by Matt Johnson, spinning away nicely from DJ White. JoJo France instructed to slow it down now on the near side with 2.04 to go. Matt Johnson calling out instructions from the right wing. Johnson will feed into Praia near side corner. Praia will kick out to Matt Johnson. Go cross side to Jojo France. His three point attempt, perfect. As Jojo France eclipses the 30 point mark. He'll tack on another three to make it 32 this afternoon. With 1.35 to go. Klimchok will hit a three from the near side. That one off the front rim. Rebounded by Brown. His putback, no good. But Lucas Swartz, the guilty party in drawing the foul. That foul against Swartz, just his first of the afternoon. But it will send Nishan Brown to the free throw line for two. His first one falls down cleanly. Cuts the deficit to 12. With a minute 28 to go, Nashawn Brown sinks his second free throw. Julian McGee entering the game in favor of Brendan Riggs. Reggie Pryor will inbound to France. And Nashawn Brown has that one stripped away.
Possession will stay with the Bobcats. 88 seconds to go. Rather, it'll go down to 86 seconds remaining as two seconds expired off the shot clock. Two also set to come off the game clock. As our second umpire of the afternoon, Mark Schmidt, makes his way to the score table to clarify any confusion. As ultimately ruled, just one second off the shot clock, none off the game clock as the inbound there to Matt Johnson goes right back to Reggie Pryor. Full court press now from the Bison. Johnson spinning away from White. Johnson looking to go coast to coast. He'll hit the layup blocked by Travis Zimmerman. Possession will stay with the Bobcats with a minute 16 to go. Riggs will come right back into the game for McGee as acting head coach Lucas Wuerl looks to get his best five out there on the court. Inbound from Swartz to Micah Jones. Johnson feeding it up top to Jojo France who hits a long three, that one well short. Caught out of the air by Swartz. Goes cross court to Micah Jones. Five on the shot clock. Jojo France driving inside, he'll hit the layup. That'll fall off the backboard and in as Jojo France continues to have himself a day. Less than a minute to go, DJ White just gonna let this one roll as long as he can over half court. And now we'll field it cleanly. White gonna drive inside, cross court pass near side to Klimchok, his three point attempt in and out, rebounded by Zimmerman, his put back off the backboard won't go, brought down by Pryor, and now Zimmerman drawing the foul. That'll be the fifth one of the afternoon against Zimmerman. So he'll be watching the last 48 seconds from the bench. Reggie Pryor will be set to go to the free throw line as Uphold enters for Travis Zimmerman. 13 point advantage for the Bobcats with 48 and 4 tenths of a second left to go. First charity stripe toss for Praya. Bounces off the rim two or three times, will fall down. Praya's second attempt off the rim and won't go as the Bison will get another possession. Play blown dead. as the Bison will be calling another timeout. It'll be a full one. Seat down on the Bison bench. Assistant coach Brandon Thorson with the drawing board looking to hit potentially a quick shot for the Bison. The storyline here this afternoon has been Jojo France. 34 points, 10 for 18 in terms of field goals, 5 for 11 from distance, and a perfect 9 for 9 at the free throw line as he has continued to make the Bison pay throughout all 19 minutes and 15 seconds of the second half along with the first 20. As the Bison are ready to go, Riggs will be inbounding. Pitt Greensburg making their way back onto the court. Riggs will inbound to DJ White. White dribbling to the far side corner. Go cross court to uphold. Feed inside to Nashawn Brown, hits a fading jumper, and that one will get stuck between the backboard and the rim before Reggie Pryor will tip that one away. 
Talk about something you don't see every day in the game of basketball. As we get a shot clock adjustment, 15 seconds in terms of a differential between game clock and shot clock. DJ White will be set to inbound. We'll find Nishan Brown. Nishan Brown looking to hit a quick jumper, won't be able to. We'll get enough separation to do so. That one overshot. Matt Johnson going to rebound. Just try to keep possession. Feed it up to JoJo France. Shot clock off with 20 to go as JoJo France looks to just run this one out. The Bison, no need to really foul here as that's how this game is going to end. Final score, Pitt Greensburg Bobcats 83, your Bethany Bison 70 behind that 34 point day from JoJo France as the official buzzer goes off. We set to wrap this one up here for you now. Travis Zimmerman ultimately fouling out of the final 48 seconds, but he led the Bison with 18 points. Asa Klimchok right behind him with 14. Nishan Brown with 12. Of course, we already talked about JoJo France with his 34-point day. Matt Johnson was second in terms of total points for the Bobcats with 17. Lucas Swartz right behind him, knocking on the door for second place in terms of total points this afternoon for the Bobcats with 15. Our final stats this afternoon, Pitt Greensburg 30 of 64 in terms of field goals. Bison just 29 of 74. The difference maker ultimately from distance as the Bobcats went 11 for 30. Bethany 5 for 21 as Pitt Greensburg also went 12 of 18 from the free throw line, 7 for 11 with the Bison. So in terms of percentages, the Bison right there with the Bobcats on free throws slightly below in terms of field goals and then three pointers. Ultimately the Bison pretty significant differential there. Pitt Greensburg was able to force 10 turnovers compared to just seven for the Bison. That ultimately had a major part in this game as Pitt Greensburg ultimately had 33 defensive rebounds, just eight offensive. The Bison, 28 defensive, 12 offensive. One interesting statistic is that the Bison made the difference in terms of coming off the bench, just two bench points for Pitt Greensburg, 16 for the Bison, as that's a strong indication that acting head coach Lucas Worrell got the subs right this afternoon. However, Pitt Greensburg dominating in terms of second chance points with the edge 12 to eight. Once again, your final score, Pitt Greensburg 83, Bethany 70. The Bison will get some time off to spend with their families for the Thanksgiving holiday before heading back out onto the court Wednesday, December 1st in Steubenville, Ohio, when they take on the Franciscan Barons in the conference opener. We'll then have two days off in between games before ultimately hosting Grove City on Saturday, December 4th. That one's scheduled for three o'clock. As for Pitt Greensburg, their next two games look like this. They head to Malone University in Canton, Ohio on Saturday, November the 27th, just two days after Turkey Day before having a week off before their conference opener in the AMCC against Hilbert College. Next broadcast here on the Bethany Broadcasting Network set to be those December 4th games, men's and women's doubleheader against Grove City. Drew Von Sayo signing off. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe for the holiday. Until next time on the Bethany Broadcasting Network, streamed live on YouTube.